Hey guys, what's up? By Sectatron here from One Hive Gazette, here with the next video, and today I'm breaking down the balancing update that's coming to Clash of Clans and how it's going to affect uh, Clan Wars, Town Hall 9, 10, and 11 mainly, and how these wars might be different, because this is a very big update, and that gets said way too much, but this one really is a huge update, and it's probably going to have a one of the biggest um, changes at a single point in time to clan wars that we've seen in a very long time. Uh, so it's going to be interesting to see how this one shapes up, assuming everything uh, happens as Supercell saying, is saying it's going to, all the changes are actually going to be implemented. But let's take a look at the, uh, the specific changes and we'll talk about the effect it's going to have on clan wars. This is based off a blog post on December 15th called the December 2017 balancing update. I will briefly go through each of the uh, the changes and then I'll get into my analysis. You guys have probably already heard what's happening, but just to summarize in case you haven't, um, in the intro paragraph Supercell, um, they say basically that at Town Hall 9, uh, many players are you know a little hesitant to go to Town Hall 10 or 11 because three stars are difficult um, at those Town Hall levels, which is pretty fair. They are difficult at Town Hall 10 and Town Hall 11. So because of that, they are going to be uh, making these changes to make three stars more viable at Town Hall 10 and even Town Hall 11. So that's kind of the rationale behind these changes. Now, what changes exactly are they making? Well, they're adjusting the hit points of the tanks, the gold on the Lava Hound and the Giant, but these aren't very big changes. Um, looking at the numbers, I'm not going to get too specific here because I want to focus on the other parts of the update, but the, the changes to these three troops are not that substantial. And oftentimes, um, looking at the numbers, these are mainly changes to Town Hall 8 um, and Town Hall 9 level troops. So at the top level, the Golem and the Lava Hound really aren't being changed at all. So that's not going to have a huge impact on war. Um, the biggest thing I can see from here is that the Lava Hound at level 2 is going to get 300 more hit points, which isn't a lot considering it has 6,200 uh, 6, uh, right now. But that might be one of the bigger changes uh, to make Town Hall 9 a little bit easier. But besides that, the tanks aren't going to be changed a whole lot. Now, the biggest one is the Inferno Tower, which is no longer going to be blocking the heal effect. That means heal spells. That also means healers. That's obviously going to have a huge impact on Town Hall 10 and Town Hall 11. We'll get to that in just a moment. Um, more changes. The Miner from 5 troop space to 6 troop space. That's the housing space um, in your army camps. That is probably to try to make it so mass miners can't just completely crush bases at Town Hall 10 and even Town Hall 11 because now that the heal spells um, can't be blocked by Infernos, they're obviously going to be more powerful. So that's probably trying to preemptively um, make it so miners can't just be too overpowered. Whether or not that's enough uh, remains to be seen, but um, they are changing the miner troop space there. They are adding level 50 heroes to Town Hall 11, so level 50 king, level 50 queen. They are also adding new army camp levels to Town Hall 11. I assume that means you get an extra 5 camp space in each army camp for a total of an extra 20, so 260 troop space at Town Hall 11 in addition to those nice level 50 heroes. So that's a pretty substantial change there. And then I think a few defensive changes Expos levels 2 through 4 do 10 less DPS, and then the walls, you get an additional uh, 25 level 12 walls. These mysterious walls they keep adding to Town Hall 11 in every update, they're slowly giving them out. Um, so Town Hall 11's get another tw uh, 25 wall pieces, um, the level 12 walls, the white ones. Okay, so I think that covers pretty much all of it. We'll talk about the effect on each town hall level because it's going to be pretty, um, it's going to change a lot of things, I think. So we'll start with town hall 9, which isn't going to be affected a whole lot, actually. Um, the golems, or not the golems, the golems aren't even being affected because it's only level 3 golems and below that are being changed. So golems won't be changed. The giants aren't being changed either. Even if they were, it wouldn't matter. But the level 6 giants aren't getting any change either. It's pretty much just the Lava Hounds that are receiving an actual change at Town Hall 9, and that might make air attacks a little bit more viable. You know, they already were pretty strong, but it might make Town Hall 9s have a slightly higher success rate. That and the fact that the uh, Expos do 10 less DPS. 
Um, so that might have a, some kind of noticeable impact as well. But really, Town Hall 9, not a whole lot's changing besides it might be slightly easier. But compared to the other Town Hall levels, it's really not getting much of a change. Let's go on to Town Hall 10, which is getting a huge change to it because the Inferno Towers no longer block heals, which means two pretty obvious things once you think about that. First, Queen Charges are going to be crazy. The Inferno Towers were one of the biggest things stopping Queen Charges because as soon as the Inferno locks on, the Queen can no longer be healed. You have to freeze the Inferno, pop her ability. That's no longer the case. We might see some very, very crazy Queen Charges taking out like half of the base or something because now you can just rage her right through the Inferno. Um, the Inferno only does on multi like 40 DPS or something, so it's not even, it's like a wizard tower almost. Um, and that's pretty much negligible on a queen charge when a wizard tower locks on your queen. So not the, the Inferno Tower is going to be kind of a non-factor almost in queen charges unless you put it on single target, which might be something I talk about in a future video more um, once we get closer to the update coming out. But a single Inferno can still stop a queen charge because it'll still heat up to the you know 1,000 DPS, which is plenty to kill a queen. So that might be the only way to stop a queen charge. That and maybe some good air defense placement and strategic DPS and stuff like that. But the Expos also do less damage too. So that's not a huge change, but queen charges um, were also kind of limited by Expos doing a lot of damage, but now they don't do as much damage either. So queen charges are going to be crazy at Town Hall 10. Now pair that with mass miners, even with level, even with the troop space being six instead of five, I think mass miners might still be something we see a lot. Also hogs, if mass miners don't turn out to be, you know, that overpowered, I think hogs will because now you don't have to freeze the inferno, you just heal the hogs straight over it and we might see them crushing some bases as well. Queen charge hogs queen charge miners just very heal intensive army compositions where you have the healers on the queen charge and then the heal spells for whatever's on the back end of the base i think it's going to be very very viable with the three star town hall 10 now the exact specifics i don't know we haven't seen this on a big scale yet but we might see town hall 10s being able to three star more than half the opponent's town hall 10s which is something we didn't see before I'll get into some of the details of the big picture um, a little bit later in, in this video, but let's just say Town Hall 10 three stars with the queen charges and then with the uh, the mass miners or the hogs or whatever can benefit from those heal spells. Pretty much any um, attack, even La Lune, can benefit from the heal spells uh, not being uh, affected by Infernos. All of those changes together is going to be very, very impactful at Town Hall 10. For 10v11, which is um, often overlooked, but still a big part of of the game right now in Clan Wars, for 10v11 two-star attempts, now you don't have to freeze the Inferno. You can just heal your Bowlers or your Valks straight over it. It's going to make them, I'd say, substantially easier to, uh, to get the two-star 10v11 just for that single fact um, that the those level 5 Infernos that you have at Town Hall 11 can no longer... Uh, combat the heal spells so i think we're going to see um 10 v 11 hit rates go up if they even are still a thing because we might start seeing 11 v 11s uh which might take over and 10 v 11s will be more rare because those bases are going to be attempted for three stars but that's getting a little bit ahead of ourselves let's talk about town hall 11 now for the um for dips and for 11 v 11 possibilities because right now in clan wars we're seeing town hall 11s doing uh dipping on probably 90 percent of their attacks they're just going down maybe even more than 90 percent in some wars and they're just hitting town hall tens for the three star with level 50 heroes and with a a buff to well, actually the, the tanks aren't being buffed but with with the the um, inferno towers no longer blocking heal spells mass miners um hogs pick your pick your poison um, it's going to be like a Town Hall 10 dipping a Town Hall 9, maybe even more overpowered. Um, so dips are going to be a given, I'd say, for a Town Hall 11 coming down for a Town Hall 10. Before, the hit rate may be um, 80, 85%, maybe higher in certain clans. 
now the hit rate is going to be very close to 100% if we continue to see dips. For 11v11s, which um, might be much more common now, I'd say these queen charges are going to be very hard to stop if you do not have a single inferno, because with a multi-inferno, there's so many different tools you can use to keep up your queen. You have, you know, three, maybe even four rages at your disposal. You have the queen's ability, that's level 50 queen, keep that in mind, um, more powerful than any queen we've seen in the game so far. And you have the Grand Warden oftentimes on the queen walk as well. So we're going to see, plus the Grand, Grand Warden's ability, um, we're going to see so many different ways to keep up your queen for these queen charges. Um, even with the single Infernos too, you have the Queen's ability, you have a free spell, you have the Warden's Tomb. There's so many ways to keep up your Queen that it's going to be very, very difficult to stop a charge at Town Hall 11. Then pair that with some Miners or some Hogs or even a Laloon on the back end of the base. We might see some uh, three stars become more common at Town Hall 11. Now, it's it's so difficult to speculate with, without seeing this um, update on a large scale being tested by the entire community, but I'd say it's safe to say Town Hall 11 3 Star is much more viable. They already were something that I think could have been, um, could we could have seen them much more if there were more attempts, but the thing was Town Hall 11s were always stuck dipping. Now that they have the opportunity to probably have much, many more ten, uh, many more attempts at Town Hall 11 uh, three-star attempts because the Town Hall 10s will clear the Town Hall 10s easier. It might be it might be too much almost. I'm, I'm wondering because I'd say one of the limiting factors was that the Town Hall 11s had to dip, but really Town Hall 11 v 11 three-stars, if, if there's multiple attacks on a base, it's not that difficult for a very good attacker against a base that's not set up to defend it. So we're probably going to see ten, uh, Town Hall 11 bases switch to anti 3-star and almost concede that 2-star. The 2-star might be a given, almost. Um, they might just be set up to defend against a 3-star. So it's going to be interesting to see how that shapes up. But on a big picture, I'd say we're going to see Town Hall 9, you know, 3-stars be slightly more viable. Not going to be a huge change. Maybe a few more scouts for Town Hall 10s or even Town Hall 11 bases to get those scouted for future three stars. But really at Town Hall 10, the main change is going to be there. We're going to see probably, I don't know, half, maybe even more than half the bases cleared. Um, that way the dips, which are probably going to be a given that you'll three star on a dip, a clan might only have to use half of its Town Hall 11 attacks to dip, and it might be able to use the other ha half to go for three stars. In that case, it's going to come down to who can get more Town Hall 11 three stars to win the war. So we're going to see clans have all kinds of uh, anti three star bases at Town Hall 11. Um, the problem is that way, if you do that, you can't defend against the two star because if you have any bases set up to defend a two star, those bases will just be hit for a three star. So it, you can't exactly have it both ways. You either have to have like all your bases defend two stars or all your bases defend three stars because if you have half and half, then the clan will just pick and choose uh, which bases it wants to hit for two stars, which bases it wants to hit for three stars to kind of basically hit the opposite of what the base is defending against. So my opinion is that we'll see pretty much all bases change to Town Hall still somewhat defended, but mostly anti three star. So 10 v 11 will be, you know, not a sure thing, but it'll be like a 70% chance you'll get the, the two star. Um, so the two stars will almost be given. It won't take many ten, uh, Town Hall 10 attacks to do it. It'll be more of which clan can get the three stars at Town Hall 11, get those um, 11 v 11 three stars. And keep in mind, I'm talking about CWL type wars where you have a lot of Town Hall 11s, you have a lot of Town Hall 10s, then you have the rest Town Hall 9s. This update, I think, was intended for clans that um, aren't quite at the uh, the top level, which is most clans, um, just by definition. It was intended to make Town Hall 10, Town Hall 11 a little bit easier and more viable to 3-star for the average attacker who's not spending a ton of time planning out their attacks. And I think that, that it's going to accomplish its goal. If that's the goal, I think it will be accomplished. It's just kind of coming at the cost of possible um, balance that we used to have now at Town Hall 10 and Town Hall 11. And, you know, 
I'd, I'd say I would have been happy with an update that made Town Hall 11 three stars a little bit easier, that made Town Hall 10 three stars a little bit easier, because they, they were pretty difficult. But I'm a little afraid this is going to tip the balance too far in the other direction for the top war clans, for CWL, the stuff that One Hive Genesis is doing, and that a lot of other top war clans are doing. So I am a little bit concerned in that sense. Some people are saying this is going to be a Town Hall 12 um, primer, like we're seeing Town Hall 11 made easier so they can bring in Town Hall 12. Um, I should say I have no knowledge on that. Um, I know no more than you guys do, but in my opinion, I don't think Town Hall 12 is going to be coming. I'd, I'd say that um, there's still too many factors. They're still trying to get Town Hall 11 right. Um, maybe they, they never plan to go beyond Town Hall 11. Who knows? Um, I don't think that's coming anytime soon, though. But overall, this isn't um, a terrible update. A lot of people are crying out about it. I'd say, I'd say the vast majority of the stuff in the update is fine. I have no objection to the tanks being increased in hit points, especially because it's, um, it's mainly Town Hall levels like Town Hall 8 and Town Hall 9. The Town Hall 10 Lava Hound is being adjusted. It is getting more hit points, but that's only uh, 100 HP. So a very, very, it's like a 2% increase for the Town Hall 10 Lava Hound. The Giants are being increased, but that's really not a huge change. Um, giants were never used for anything beyond tanking for wall breakers, really, and just tanking for various small efforts in the attack. So really, the tanks aren't a huge change. Um, I have no objection to level 50 heroes at Town Hall 11. I think it, it'll open up new possibilities for three stars. Uh, it'll make the dips much more uh, much easier, but I, I think dips should be pretty easy. Um, if you're looking for balance and dips, I think that there's a bigger problem going on um, in that the, the focus should never be balancing dip attacks. So I have no objection to bringing in these, um, these better ways for Town Hall 11s to three-star each other. My main concern is Town Hall 10, and if we lose a lot of the balance, if it becomes closer to Town Hall 9, I'm not saying it's going to become as easy as Town Hall 9, but if we see um, the hit rates be after a base is scouted, if it just takes one or two attacks to three-star that base, I'm a little concerned that this is going to make Town Hall 10 too close to Town Hall 9, and it's going to skew the wars to the point where we're not seeing... Um, attacks be as important. There's going to be so much room for error at Town Hall 9 and Town Hall 10. It'll just come down to the Town Hall 11s. Can they pull off these important attacks? And I think it's a little bit uh, risky when you have the wars being decided almost exclusively by the top few attackers. It it makes it less interesting for everyone because it, it there's it's like a basketball game almost where you know it's going to be tied going into the fourth quarter. It's almost like, okay, what's the point of the first three quarters? So I am a little concerned in that department, although I've always been one to say, all right, hold on, let's wait for this to come out. Let's see how it's actually going to affect the game and go from there because people tend to get you know, very worried and then, then the nightmares don't come true. So let's kind of hold off for a second. Um, no fault in being worried about... Uh, Inferno Towers no longer blocking heal and what that's going to do to queen charges and what that's going to do to miners and hogs. But let's just kind of calm down, wait for the updates to come out. Um, and if it is a big, you know, a big mistake, I think Supercell will do something to, to, to kind of remedy that. Even if it's um, an indirect change, I think that they are going to still try to keep that balance. They're still doing a lot for CWL. So let's kind of just relax and wait for this thing to come out, um, assuming it comes out the way they're saying it's going to. But um, uh, those are my thoughts. Hope you guys liked the video. And let me know what you think in the comments below. I'll be sure to take a look at those and respond to as many as I can. Uh, but if I, if I missed anything, let me know in the comments as well. I think I covered pretty much all the changes and my thoughts on them. So we'll wait and see. But um, until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bisectatron out.